Guys, it's me, Neon Jacket, bringing you another forest guide. And I am going to show you how to get the golden key card so you can access the yacht. Now, there are some major spoilers with doing this. Um, so, here's your warning now. If you don't want to spoil the game for yourself, then do not watch any further. Now, in order to get the golden key card what you're going to need is any weapon um i it, i suggest like bows or the gun get stuff like that um you're gonna need the a breather the climbing axe and then you're gonna need the key card this thing which i have videos on so go ahead and go watch those if you need help finding those but we're gonna get into it right away now we're gonna do the trick i uh I made a video on this trick on how to get down into the pit to get the machete. Um, hold on, let's. All right, so we are immediately going to probably should throw a breather on. Probably should have put it on before I uh, came down here. But it's alright, we're just gonna put it on now and go under. <clears throat> now, this will... In this game, there are two endings. There's one ending, and then you go through a cinematic. The next one, there's, there's an alternate ending, is what I'm trying to say. And the alternate ending is the way we're gonna have to go in order to be able to use the keycard. Um... For, like, example, on the yacht. Places like that. So, um, yeah. And this is a really long cave system. It's not too bad. But, do be careful. And I suggest bringing either mutant armor or bone armor. Mutant armor is best just because I think it's 150 armor each piece. So, yes, definitely bring mutant armor. If you have it. Um, there are... A lot of cannibals and a couple mutants that you'll have to fight and then you'll have to fight the boss so let's go ahead and I would like to unequip this unequip yeah there we go okay let's get going um but yeah this cave is pretty easy for the most part there are just a lot of little pictures and stuff so let's just run through here mm -hmm. yeah keep a running there are there should be a few cannibals in here but we won't get it because if you haven't noticed by my stamina running out we are yet again on creative and I apologize for all of you guys that hate it when I'm on creative but um the only reason I'm on creative is so I don't take up more Time that I have to. Alright, here is the first area we're gonna need the climbing axe. So let's go ahead and attach ourselves, go up, go up to the left. I believe this is the only time you need the climbing axe. Yeah, you just need it one time. I'm pretty sure you just need it that one time, and then after that, you won't need it again. Um, okay. So we are. Basically already at the door to go into the final area where the, the final boss of the game is um, There is a lot of Lore I guess you could not really lore just information about this game And about this last area, but I'm not going to explain everything um, So it would just be a completely different video than what we're doing right now now, I didn't notice, but I guess it was something they added recently, or whenever the game fully released, but you're able to control the brightness of caves in your settings now. So, like, here, um, display. See, down here, cave and night brightness, you're able to turn it up. And look at this, it's so much brighter. So, if you guys haven't already found that, then, I mean, there you go, now you know. Alright, this is where you need the key card, so we're just going to activate this, 
Yeah. Let it load. There we go. Alright. So now we don't need the lighter anymore. Give me my katana. Let's go through this real quick. I don't want to waste any more time than we have to. Um, back there I believe there's a few little things. There's red paint down there and a paintbrush, so if you want to get that, there are cannibals and a mutant in here. So, um, do get that. And we're just gonna keep going. And then, here's a picture of Megan Cross. Can't see it, it's dark. Well, oh well. And then down here... This is, I guess, where she hid out. There's a whole little toy place down here. Medicine. It's just like a little hideout. Now we're just going to keep running through the vent. Keep on going. Keep on going. Come up here. Climb the rope. Alright. Now in here, we're going to run over here, climb up this chair, and then on these pipes, crouch again, and then down here, alright. Just going to run straight through here then you can go down that there are going to be babies here if you haven't you know noticed by the the baby bodies um and over here there are a whole bunch of wonderful they look god they look so uncomfortable um yeah all right we're just gonna go through here this is where the mutant uh it's an armsy the mutant would be in here but here's a uh, virginia body these aren't, like, uh, you can't chop these up, so, yeah, don't try. You can't get mutant armor. You could get mutant armor from the RMC that's in here. Um, although if you light a fire in here, the sprinklers will turn on, so that's something. Um, I'm still very curious on what went so wrong to make this, because, I mean, look, eyes... Of that's a whole face right there. One of them has a nose. There's a nose. Um, I don't know. One of those faces have a nose and a mouth. Then one eye. What is this? Property of Megan. Oh, her coloring book. Yeah. Alright. Let's keep going. We're almost done. I don't remember there being music in here. Interesting. Alright, over here. Run through here. There would be more cannibals in here, I do believe. Um, but we need, yeah, we need to go through here. Yep, let's run over here. Back through here, go over here. In here, there are babies. And then you're just gonna run through this. The noises in here are terrifying. And here's the artifact. This is. There's a lot of lore behind this right here. And in here we find our only son, Timmy. Rest in peace, little dude. Now we'll take him over to the table behind us, and yes, Timmy is dead, just in case you guys haven't noticed, and if you are spoiling this for yourself, then I'm sorry, but yeah, he did. 
Um, yeah, it's kind of a very sad thing. He didn't necessarily die a, a painless death. He got stabbed with spikes. I say that because, I mean, well, it's true. There was a giant spike that we had to take our son's head off of. So, yeah, it's very uh, painless. Well, no, it's painful. <clears throat> now we're just having like a little eureka moment. Alright. And now we're left with the problem of finding something to resurrect our son now um I'm just gonna say this because I mean you're about to find, find out anyways uh back by the way here's the red cannibal and yeah daddy's dead this was um what's his name it's it's the father of Megan Cross um it's the father of this girl uh I forgot his name was it Michael I don't know it was something um but, well, yeah, we can't access that. We have to go this way. Uh, yeah, basically, Megan, yeah, I mean, you'll see something went wrong. But Megan died, and here, in this room, there will be a lot of cannibals, or, like, two or three. Um, but, yeah, Megan died, and up at the tower that we will go in here in a bit, um... In that tower, there's an artifact that is basically like a, a enormous EMP grenade type deal. And that EMP shot down our plane, and he stole our son. And then he used our son to resurrect his daughter. And now we are... You can either choose to do the same thing, use the EMP... Artifact thing I'm above to shoot down another plane, take a child, resurrect your child, and then you'll go through the cinematic at the end of the game. Um, and then there's an alternate ending, which I will show you how to do whenever we, after we kill Megan Cross. Um, after we kill her, we go up to the tower. She gives us the golden key card after we find out we need a live sample to revive our son. But the alternate ending, we leave our son dead, we shut down the artifact. And we just go back to our island, and you get to keep the golden key card. So I will show you where and how to do that here in a second. As you see, she's kind of just like mocking us. Grain flash, and then she's like, you, yep. Your father crashed our plane. Killed my son. Thanks for reminding me. And here we go. Here's the final boss. Now, I... Since I am in creative... I'm not going to worry about... Staying away and shooting it. Well... Yeah. If it gets really loud, I apologize. This boss is actually really easy. Um, although I will suggest that you use a bow or a gun or a flare. Just because every time when it hits you, it knocks you down. You have to go through like a little cutscene cinematic thing. Not really a cinematic, but you get knocked down nonetheless. Hold on, let me... This is, see, for whoever decided that they were going to be a man and comment that I have no in-game volume, it is extremely loud in my headphones. So I turn it down. So, thanks for thinking you were smart calling me a effing retard. Because I had no volume on. That was intentional, buddy. So, yeah. I kind of like hearing out of my ears. Um, yeah. So thanks for the unneeded comment 
that you commented. It was really unnecessary. See, and uh, since we aren't in virtual reality, we're getting stunned and I can't swing. If we were in virtual reality, every time you get hit, unless you get hit like that, you would never get stunned. So you could just keep swinging. It really sucks that you get stunned. Oh lord, why did I bounce all the way up there? Come on, die. Just please, you're prolonging this. I was going to have the- I was going to grab the gun earlier. That was a, a thought of mine that I considered doing, but I didn't. Um, there we go. Now, she, on, like, survival, she will also, like, poop out babies, so be warned. Um, there will be some babies that you might have to deal with. Alright, now that we have killed her, we are going to run back to the artifact. Try and put her in the artifact to resurrect our son, and then find out that we need a living child. And then you get to choose either if you want to um if you want to save or you you'll be able to choose if you want to shoot down another airplane or just shut it down and go live on the island um although some people do believe that I'll show you whenever we finish um all right Let's put her in, but I'll show you whenever we're done with all that stuff and finding out or after shutting it down We'll exit near the cockpit where the flare is. We'll exit near there and then we're Basically done and you have the uh, SOS build thing that you're able to build and That was added whenever the full game was released so now you have the golden key card um, here's the golden key card. We are just going to go over here, activate this with the golden key card. This will lead us to another cave, and you will need a breather on this part too. Um, for whenever we get over there. But this is right here. We're gonna make a right. There's a whole bunch of rubble that fell through, like the window. You're gonna climb up this, and we're just gonna go through. Up here where we're going, oh excuse me, up here where we're going is where they found the artifact. Uh, the first one, there are, I believe, are two. Oh, alright. Um, you don't need a, a climbing axe for this part, you can kind of just hop down without getting hurt. And this is where we need the rebreather again. Um, and you don't come back this way, so yeah, you just need the climbing axe for the first part that I showed you earlier. Now, this will lead us, like I said, to the room where we found the artifact that was, uh, that Timmy was found in. That artifact was found over here, I believe. Um, I'm not sure where they found the big artifact that was in, or that's in the tower, which you'll see here in a bit. Um, but... I do know that they found it nonetheless, and these artifacts have killed a lot of things. So, there are rocks down here, but you just need to put rocks on this uh, platform to open the artifact door. And down there is where the artifact was found. Now, you don't actually have to go down there. That's just, it, it's pointless if you go down there. Um, you just run on the side where all these burnt bodies are. And they died pretty quick because, I mean, they're frozen in place. So something must have, like, exploded and then left them all frozen in their death pose. Now, we came in over there, right over there. And then we're, we just walk around, come over here, and we're just going to run this way. And we will eventually come to another... Uh, 
area that's like uh, where we were fighting Megan. Um, there will be another area over there. Like uh, scientist area. I'm trying to think of a word. It's like the factory type look. And we will come upon an elevator. And that will bring us up to the tower. Here we are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Alright, now we're back here. Some heads. And then here's the orgy pool of bodies. Yeah, it's uh, not pleasant. Okay, now we're just going to run through here. Some crates. I don't know what's in these crates. Flares? Yeah. Alright, screw that one. I'm just going to crawl through here. And there's the elevator. Alright, congratulations. We are basically done. Um, you need to have the golden key card to come in here, which you will have because you have to have the golden key card to get out of the original place we were in. Now, it's still confusing why we can't see this thing, or this place that we're going through the elevator. It's up in the mountain, and realistically we should be able to see it from the ground out in the forest, but you can't. Alright, so see, look, there's the mountain right next to us. We're basically on top of the mountain, and there's the forest. So this is like, if you're looking at the mountain from the ground over there, it's on the right side of the uh, mountain. And then here, this very cool-looking room, there's the giant artifact. Um, yeah, it's kind of scary. Now this artifact may have been the one found in the room with all the dead people, but I'm not sure. And here is the the original ending. You would press that and it would see look there's Kevin, Sally, and Thomas. And they they just see kids. You'll see kids in the plane. But we're not gonna do that. If you're looking at the table, look to the right. There's this. Emergency shutdown. We are going to press this because we are good people. No, we're just here for the golden key card so we can go access the yacht. So this will... It won't end the game for you. You'll still be able to, like, go play around on the, uh, the island and all that. So you'll be able to move around down there. That This is what you have to do to access the room in the yacht. Um, so yeah, but after you shut that down, an elevator opens, what do you know? And that's our way out, let's just real quick look over, cause I mean, look at this. There's the pit, that's where we came from. We walked all the way from over there to over here in a cave. It's a lot of land covered. Alright, let's go ahead and go down this elevator. Use golden key card again. And we'll begin our descent. Let's get... Did I not get the flashlight? I believe I did. Oh, it's right there. Just get the flashlight out. My guy is shaking. Are we in the... Uh the cold yet because we will be thrown out in the uh, snow biome so just a little heads up look at all this stuff looks like they just dumped a whole bunch of random stuff back here now this will lead us outside eventually this will get us out in the snow biome like I've said it'll put us up near the cockpit um, so yeah. Ooh, 
Looks like we're gonna need the breather again. I'm not. We're gonna go left because I'm not 100% sure. Oh, you don't need the breather. Never mind. Ignore me. Not a hundred percent sure where we're going. Oh, shit, that's right. Well, oh, fuck. I forgot you have to find another artifact. Where was that artifact? Oh, God. Maybe it was up and to the right, because we did just go straight left, so it better be up to the right. Um, but after you open that, that leads you to another artifact room. And this artifact that we have to get, um, this artifact is the endgame artifact, where it's basically a giant, they're not a giant, it's a little ball on a stick, and you can... If you left click, I believe it goes blue. If you right click, it goes red. And if it's red, um, it attracts like cannibals and mutants. It even spawns cannibals and mutants. Um, is it not this way? Oh no. Oh crap. I think I might have forgot. I definitely did forget where it was. Um, Shisa. Uh, well, let's climb back up. See if we can find it here. I'm just going backwards a bit. Okay. Um. Sorry. All right. I mean, it should be on the way down. Like, it, it shouldn't be out of your way. I'm pretty sure it isn't out of your way coming down. Okay, we're already back here. So let's see. No, it shouldn't be. Um. Okay. That's a. S I'm not sure I like that sound. No, we can't go back up. So, uh. It looks like. It has to be down here. There's a lot of rubble. I don't know if. Do I even have TNT? I do. Let's see. If it ever lights. I don't think this is, you're able to blow this up, but we can definitely try. No, you can't. Okay. Well. Can I get my lighter? Thank you. Let's get the lantern. None of it blew up, right? Yeah, no, nothing blew up. Let's see. 
Okay, we're already back here. Really, I'm trying my hardest to remember where it is. And if you guys have already done this, then you're probably yelling at me. But I mean, I'm having issues trying to remember exactly where it was so all right thanks forest the forest minimized that was loud as hell all right sorry my computer decided to minimize everything and then scream in my ear so yeah oh adam god damn it all right well let's just rather than going down the hole just run back sorry that took me a lot longer than it should have I'm not the most focused at the moment, I must say. Candy. Alright, go down this way. My apologies. Normally I'm better with remembering everything before I start recording. But I completely forgot about the uh, artifact, the little triangle that you have to find in order to open the door. This is where you need TNT, is it? Yeah, so I give you TNT. I thought you needed TNT for some point in this. Well, let's go ahead and light it. Chuck it. Boom it. Alright, I think you need three... No, you just needed one. Alright. Oh, so this is just taking us right outside. So, I believe the artifact is in a different cave then. The artifact to open the door. And look, there's the plane that you could have shot down, but we didn't. So there it goes with the the hope of resurrecting poor Timmy flies over us. Or we're just gonna burn the image. Um. So yeah, that's it's a very sad moment, but a moment nonetheless. So we're just gonna burn that. And then, now, uh, you guys are able to go access the room in the yacht. Um, so, there you go. As per request, request has been met, I hope. Um, did take me a minute, so my apologies. Uh, and we are up near the cockpit. Cockpit should be just down here, actually. So yeah, this is, um, in order to actually go and get the artifact that allows you to, like, attract things and scare away cannibals and mutants, you're gonna have to go find that artifact, uh, the key point thing, then come back to this entrance, go in it again, go to the area, put the key in, and then you're gonna go get the artifact. Um, if you guys want, I would be able to show you how to get the artifact to open the door and then come back and show you to get how to get the uh, end game artifact since we have done the alternate ending um, so yeah let me know if you guys want to see that I'm sorry it took a lot longer than I hoped and I expected it to so my apologies um, yeah let's let's just wrap it up let's end it i mean it's done so congratulations you're now able to go access the yacht uh and i believe you do need the golden key card to get the the key to the door so uh yeah keep that around and if you this is the only way to access the room on the yacht is to do the alternate ending so if you haven't done the uh the real ending to the game then i wouldn't do this I'd finish the game for, like, you know, the actual ending. I'd finish it like that first before you ran over here to do the alternate ending. Um, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys later. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I do videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, I'm going to start here soon a series on, like, how to get certain achievements. So that will start up here soon. 
I'll probably that'll probably start next week. Um, so yeah, let me guys let me know what you guys want to see achievement wise. If you want to see any specific achievements and how to unlock it, I can definitely show you guys how to. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and remember, shine bright, neon bright. Bye.